All right, man, what up, man? It's your boy, Sister is Suicide Ace 29, back with another video. Y'all already know the freaking vibe. Smash that like button when you come in. All right, man, so, you know, it, it's been like the talk the talk of the YouTube land. You got Dr. Umar went versus Judge Joe Brown, okay? And, and that, that Harriet Tubman thing came up, you know what I mean? And people are going wild, 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 wild with that thing. And they say, you know, they don't like what Judge Joe Brown had to say. So what we going to do, we going to listen to Dr. Umar Johnson and Judge Joe Brown interact. Because I don't think a lot of people giving Dr. Umar Johnson his credit that, you know, that he was he did in this dialogue. People just going off on what's on uh, um, Judge Joe Brown rightfully so, you know, if you agree or disagree. But Dr. Umar actually deserves some credit in this exchange right here. So without further ado, I ain't gonna hold you too long. Let's go ahead and listen to that exchange. Shout out to uh the page Valerie Denise Jones. Shout out to Valerie Denise Jones. This is the page I got it from. So uh let's get let's get to it. Um one, right? I got a question for you, Judge, if I could. Yes, sir. Uh because I would hate for any listener and particularly feminists to misinterpret. Your comments earlier on Queen Mother Harriet Tubman. about feminists. Big. Now, 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 okay, there we go. Right out the gate, they swinging. Right out the gate, and right here, they swinging. All right? So, what we got, what we got, what we got is, Dr. Umar, like, I don't want people to misconstrue or misinterpret what you're what you trying to say, sir. The feminist, what now? Uh, I, I, so can you please elaborate? And then Judge Joe Brown just goes off, say, I don't give a god dang about no god dang feminist. Okay, so we're going to run that back. Huh? We're going to run that back. You know, we're we going to run that back. Hell, dog. We're going to run that back. Hold on, man. Run it back. Run it back. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And particularly feminists to misinterpret your comments earlier on Queen Mother Harry Tubman. about feminists. They can go straight to hell, and I know they hate themselves because they got two X chromosomes instead of an XY. They are fraudulent, self-hating, and they're sick. Well, I'm also... Huh? He said he don't care about no feminists. Hell no. He said they self-hating, and that's why they got... What did he say? Two X chromosomes and not an XY chromosome, something like that. Damn, Judge Joe Brown, like, I understand you come from back there, you know, feminist movement, do they, they do do some type of things that you probably don't like or we don't like. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But the brother, Dr. Uba, would just want people to understand that they want to take things the wrong way. So he wants you to elaborate a little, elaborate a little something. You know what I'm saying? Elaborate a little something. You like nah? I ain't lab, bro. I don't give a goddamn about none of it. I hear you. I hear. I hear you, player. I hear you, player. I hear. You, I hear you. Now let's keep listening, right quick. I also wanted to clarify for me as well, Judge, because um, I know you had mentioned Thurgood Marshall, Dr. King, Frederick Douglass, and I just wanted to uh, clarify with you that your comments were not suggestive of saying that by doing a Harriet Tubman movie that, that somehow undermined the words of those great male leaders, because that's what it comes no, does like. But the objective is, I've heard it from the Hollywood sources I have, these feminists are trying to do this movie so they can get a black woman put on a $20 bill. Okay, now you hear that. My man Dr. Umar says this, hey man, you know, these, these great black men right here, and by no way, shape, or form are you saying X, Y, Z, Z, Z. He like, nah, 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 I ain't saying that. But I'm, I, I, got, I got the word for my Hollywood friends. And they the one letting me know what the real deal is. My Hollywood friends let me know what this movie is all about. That's why I'm coming out here like that. Okay. So you got an inside scoop letting us know why they doing the movie. Okay. You remember back in the feminist days that, you know, in that one era, they pulled the black woman in. That's what I heard. And people confirmed it that the feminist, the, the Caucasian feminist movement back then, the women was getting destroyed by their husbands and they was cheating on them and whatnot and all the whatnots. And they cried so much and somehow they got the black woman to help them. That's what I heard. 
people confirm that. So maybe that's why Judge Joe Brown is out here talking like that because he got the inside scoop of why they doing the movies and whatnot. And you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna run that back a little bit so we can get that right. By doing the Harry Tubman movie, that that somehow undermined the works of those great male leaders, because that's what it comes no, down to. No, it does like, but the objective is okay. It was the Harry Tubman Harry Tubman movie, okay. But let's keep going. Heard it from the Hollywood sources. I have these feminists are trying to do this movie so they can get a black woman put on a twenty dollar bill, and they have no interest in this movie is to soften the public up to the idea of taking a black woman who frees slaves uh, by leading them to freedom and getting her or another one like her on a $20 bill. They can't get a white woman, so they want a black woman. They don't care. They just want a woman, and it downs masculinity. Now, everybody on a bill is not a dead... Hmm. Let's run that back so we can, we can get clarity so we can understand this and then we can give our assessment run that back a little bit run that back again let's, let's hear him say what that said out again this movie is to soften the public up to the idea of taking a black woman who frees slave leaders because that's what it comes no, down it does. to like but the objective is i've heard it from the hollywood sources i have these feminists are trying to do this movie so they can get a black woman put on a 20 dollar bill Okay, and they have no interest in this movie is to soften the public up to the idea of taking a black woman who frees slaves uh, by leading them to freedom and getting her or another one like her on a twenty dollar bill. They can't get a white woman, so they want a black woman. They don't care. They just want a woman, and it downs masculinity. Now, everybody on a bill is not a dead president. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, play. I, I hear you, play. I hear you. you know what I'm saying? He kicking that stanky stuff, okay? He kicking that stanky stuff. Let, let me, let me, let me. Ah, uh, uh, let me, let, let, let me, let me freshen it up a little bit. Let me, because he kicking that stanky stuff right now. Let me. Ah, uh, what y'all talking about? Ah, okay, 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 I, I see you, I see you, player, I see you. Now, they doing the movie, right? They doing the Harriet Tubman movie. And uh, he claimed he's supposed to soften up the public. And, um, you know, they want to put a white woman on there, but... They trying to put a black woman on there, you know, and I'm, I don't know his sources, so I can't say that that's, that's a lie. I don't know his sources, right? I don't know his sources, but he says his sources told him and they trying to soften up the public for a woman who frees slaves. And now they want to take that woman or someone like her and put her on a $20 bill. That's what the gist of what he just said. Right. And as a black man, it don't matter to me because just like when I eat the uh, Barack Obama, it didn't matter to us. We just cheered it on. So if they got a black woman on a 20 by the bill, you just cheer it on. That's it. One win, we all win. One win, we all win. Ain't, ain't that ain't that the type of thing that they one fail, we all fail. So one win, we all win. Right. Right. So I, I don't know I don't know what his argument really is right now when it comes to that because he wants the black males to get pushed up and then the females to help push them up. So in return, if the black woman is getting on a dollar bill pushed up, we should push her up too. So why is the why did the black woman needs to always push the black man up, but then in return, the woman just has to climb the ladder by herself? We ain't supposed to push her up too. She's always got to be there, huh, Judge Joe Brown? She always got to get blamed for the wrongdoings and all this and that. But the black man, you know, she got to push into it and carry all the baggage and whatnot. Nah, player, uh-uh. You was kicking some stanky stuff and we just here to make it smell a little better. Huh? Just make it smell a little better, okay? Let's keep listening to this. 
couldn't forget Ben Franklin. He was never a president. So that's plenty of precedent to put in somebody black who was never a president. Like, let's say if we want to go back to the 19th century, like all of the rest of the people are on there, died off in, in the 19th century or the 18th century. We've got Ben Franklin, so we can have Frederick Douglass. Okay. But you see, I mean, do you, that's you, what I'm saying. Okay, but you don't have a problem with a black woman, and in this case, Harriet Tubman, being memorialized. In whatever way that comes, you don't have a problem with that, do you? Or, or do you I have a problem with I got a big problem if it's on a bill before they put a black man's face on one. I have a big... Uh, let me get some essential for this. <laughs> what my essential at, y'all? Oh, there it is. Uh, let me get some essential for this. My arm player. Essential. Okay. Who sent you? Now, let me, let me take it. Let me take a sip real quick. Let me take a sip. Dr. Umar asked this man, do you have a problem? Matter of fact, let's run that back. I want to hear that again. Let's hear it again. I like that. I want to hear that again. I want to hear that again. You don't have a problem with a black woman, and in this case, Harriet Tubman, being memorialized. In whatever way that comes, you don't have a problem with that, do you? Or, or do you I have a problem with that? I got a big problem if it's on a bill before they put a black man's face on one. I have a big problem with Why? that. Why? Do because you have a problem historically, with a black the status woman? of a, an ethnic group is determined by its men, not its women. And that you but put a you, black woman on there before. Okay. Now, Dr. Umar say, yo, from one player to another player, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you really got a problem with you know, the black woman, Harriet Tubman, being memorialized the way she is, getting put on that $20 bill and whatnot and all the whatnots. You know, and the OG says, heck yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, man. Yeah, I do. Mm How -hmm. dare they put a black woman on there for a black man? The ethnic group, the success of an ethnic group is defined by the male. Let's keep listening, man. I mean, because I don't agree with that. As you see, when it comes to black people, they put the male and the female in the headlines. So we're judged by our ethnic group. Is, our ethnic group is judged by the male and the female. Hmm. Let's just put it like this. So if you go out in the world and you travel right and you just pay attention to the male and the female and when you judge the ethnic group from all over the world do you do this because we learn growing up we always say oh you know we always pinpoint the thing from the mexican and the mexican woman Black man, black woman. White man, white woman. Right? Right. So, how can Judge Joe Brown get on there and say, the ethnic group is judged by the male. But the ethnic group has male and female. So, there's no way an ethnic group can be judged by one gender. There's no way. There's no way, Judge Joe Brown. That's impossible. It's two genders in this ethnic group. So how can one gender just be obsolete to the judgment of that group? Like this, not even there. But then you're going to hear Judge Joe Brown blame the same gender that he don't want on a twenty dollar bill. Going to blame her. Blame that same gender for the young, uh, whatever he called them growing up. I want y'all to peep that. Huh? The hate for the black woman is real from the black man. And he just needs to start to just 
acknowledge that you were jealous. You're envious of the black woman getting put up there. I mean, she does hold it down when she needs to hold it down. That's why I represent like a mofo. Now let's keep listening to him because I don't agree with him. Dr. Umar don't agree with him either. I think a lot of people should give Dr. Umar some credit on this one. I don't see those videos. They just talking about what he said. But we're going to give Dr. Umar some credit on this one. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Black man is insulting to the black race because you're saying I, I, the men ain't uh, worth a damn. Put a woman up there first. I just, now he said that's insulting to the black race to put a money to put a black woman on a bill before a black man. Now Dr. Umar gonna give his take, whatever. But just let me give you my take on that. How is it insulting for a black woman to be on something? before a black man but it's not insulting if a black man be on something before a black woman and we're referring to the twenty dollar bill now shout out to my man taz exclusive red the goat shout out to the red goat nyla says i'm with taz on this i don't care about the money f the money because no social status or ethnic status it's ever going to rise just because they put our face on the money. That ain't going to get us. They ain't going to get us nowhere. After money. After gender war. It's not going to change nothing. The way they feel about us is the way they feel about us. No matter how much they dangle in your face. No matter how many times they want to put one of your people right here or on some money. The system is still the system, right? So who cares about the money? But if we go, if they're going to do it, just be happy anybody's on the money. Who cares if it's Harriet Tubman or not? But in this case, it's, the Harriet, it's Harriet Tubman. No one should be crying about Harriet Tubman being on no $20 bill. But like he said, it's an agenda behind it, what not and all the what nots. And that's fine, Judge Joe Brown. There's an agenda behind it. But we can still take it and flip it to what we like. Which means a black woman, a $20 bill, and we salute it. No matter what their agenda is. But Judge Joe Brown don't like that. He don't like that. Okay. Now, let me run that back a little bit because I think I missed something. Run that back just a little bit. I think I missed something. Let me see. You're saying I, I, the men ain't uh, worth a damn. Put a woman up there first. There you go. The man ain't worth the damn. I knew. So just because they put a woman up there, that mean a man ain't worth the damn? But ain't we supposed to work together? Cry together. Live together. Breathe together. Eat together. But when it's time to celebrate, then I guess we can't celebrate together, huh, Judge Joe Brown? That means a man ain't worth a damn because they put a woman up there. Huh? I don't know where you're getting your logic from, but that's a lot of stankiness. And uh, you're spitting a lot of stankiness. I just want to make it smell a little better. Huh? You're spitting a lot of stankiness, son. I just want to make it smell a little better. Let's keep listening. We're going to run it back. This the same man don't want the woman on the $20 bill. But then talk about that same black gen that same gender that's black and say you need to start raising these, these males up better because you don't want a man in the house. Huh? What? <laughs> Let's run it back. Let's run that back. 
I told you it was coming. Run it back a little bit. Not it's women. And that you put a black woman on there before a black man is insulting to the black race because you're saying I, I, the men ain't uh, worth a damn put a woman up there first. I disagree. Well, I, don't. I disagree. I don't think I and the other putting thing is, Harry, I, black male leadership. I think a black woman needs to not. lead the black race by saying, impose <laughs> your sense of responsibility so on black people and start so raising Umar some now. decent young men instead of these little monsters that you have running around the house where you don't want to have a father involved with them. Huh? Don't want to place the blame on the male. We've seen this movie before, right? We've seen this movie before, Judge Joe Brown, when you can't really get nothing. You, you can't really get, get, get what you want in there. Then you turn on the black woman and say, it's your fault. You need to start raising the kids better than blip, 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 because you ain't with no father around. No, Judge Joe Brown. Find me 10 women anywhere. 10 black women random that they don't want their kid's father around. Find me them. Ten of them. Random, Judge Joe Brown. Please do it for me. I like this type of stuff. Find me ten black women and ask them, do you not want your kid's father around? And you tell me how many say yes and how many say no. And always remember, Judge Joe Brown, Certain situations, the father shouldn't be around. Because they bring unnecessary drama to the household, to the kid, and to the mom. You ain't talking about that, though, is you player? Nah, you ain't talking about that. It's easy to talk stuff down on a black woman. That's easy, man. But to talk about the facts, though, that's hard, right? See, my name is Simp Sue for a reason, and I read proudly. Because I understand the women that goes on in this world, especially my women, black women. So I don't do these shows out here crying and crying, nah, because I understand. I can get upset, you know what I'm saying? I can say, damn, what's up with that? But I would never, ever, ever do the stuff that they be doing. I would never get caught online or in, in the publication or, or in media saying the stuff they saying. Now I ain't doing that. Because it's a two-way street with this thing. Right. So do we have some women out there who, uh, you know, take the kid away from the, the uh, father that's doing their job on some petty stuff? Of course! Of course. But that is not the majority of the women out here who have who are single mothers and the father not around. That's not the case, Judge Joe Brown. So how dare you say that stupid remark? Hmm. That's hilarious. Let's keep listening to this man spit that funky stuff. Are being real mothers and pay attention to it. That's what honoring a but honoring a black woman, Judge, how is that an insult to black men? I right. don't understand because that. Because if we had a black man on there, it wouldn't be. But if you put a black woman first, that's an insult to black men. Harriet Tubman rescued 200 men. She disagree. rescued maybe she Dr. Rescued Dr. More, no, more than that. Judge. Well, it more may be, that. but there were black men that did something better than that, too. There's one that's down here featured at a house in... Dr. Umar, shout, you got to shout out to Dr. Umar on this. You just can't point out his flaws and not point out his, 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 his good stuff, his, uh, his achievements and all that. Shout out to Dr. Umar for being stand up and not following this. Shout, you got to shout him out. We do videos on his negative stuff. We got to salute him on this. I'm surprised that a lot of people not shouting Dr. Umar out for, for holding it down. For not holding it down. I mean, for holding it down. Maybe there's a lot of videos I didn't see, but I ain't, I ain't really seen nothing. Um, it's not a disrespect um, to put a black woman on a bill before a black man. And then he says, oh, man, it's a lot of black men who did something better than that. 
See, it's a lot of black men are envious of black women for the perks that they get for being who they are. I'm sorry, we just got to keep it 100. It's a lot of black. I did that on my other channel before it got flagged down um, in my my earliest stages of the Suicide First channel. That it's a black man jealous of black women. And this is another example of how there's certain black men out there jealous of black women. They, they always want to try to play this. No, we doing this. No, we doing that. Nah, man. Like, what are you doing? So Judge Joe Brown go, it's a black man who did something better than that. You see what I'm talking about? And then when the when the black woman goes over to a different race and all of that, then y'all want to say something. Then y'all want to say something. It's a lot of stuff that we're responsible for, for the black woman doing right now. Not just the programming that they done. We are responsible for a lot of stuff the black women are doing right now. We just don't want to take responsible responsibility for that. But that's another show. Judge Joe Brown out here spitting that funky stuff. He tripping right now. Let's keep going. We almost done. Nor going into North Memphis here, where they had an underground railroad and the brother got several thousand black slaves to freedom. Okay. But they don't even right. commemorate so him and you agree? can't even hear learn about but it. But Judge Joe, Unless you Judge happen Brown, to walk in that monument. But but what the hell they don't think they want to do it because you heard somebody to freedom? Judge. Why don't they get the truck? Judge, wouldn't you agree? That Frederick Douglass, Dr. King, and Thurgood Marshall have all been exceedingly more celebrated and remembered in both black history and American history than Queen Mother Harriet Tubman. They need, Frederick to, put Douglass, them, they need to put them on a bill and show respect. They've got a homicidal maniac. Andrew Jackson on a $20 bill. They've got a non-president, Benjamin Franklin, on a $50 bill. They've got Grant. They've got every Calvin Coolidge on a damn bill, too. Douglas and King have been written about more than any other black I don't care. in American it's history. Why not? So, when Dr. Umar let him know, like, look, these three great black men have been celebrated, written about more than Harriet Tubman. He goes on to something else. He says it again. Don't you agree, Judge, that three, three black men has been written and talked about more than Harriet Tubman. I don't care. I don't care. See? See what I'm talking about? Black men as a whole. Don't expect the black woman as a whole to just hold it down when we ain't holding it down. Okay? You got a black man out here crying because a black woman finna get put on a $20 bill and we get to smile every time we spend a 20 Smile. And he's mad because it's not a black man on there. Hmm? Black man as a whole. Don't cry about no black woman holding it down if we not holding it down. Don't cry if you see certain black women not celebrating and we not, because we not celebrating. This is a prime example of why we have this gender war going on. This right here is a prime example. See, Judge Joe Brown is very intelligent, very wise, but then he's very stupid. See, you got a lot of these people out here with this knowledge, this history and all that. And then they come out and say something very stupid. Let's keep going. And I remember, look, why not give black women their opportunity, Judge? I don't why care. Not give, you put a black man on there first because... Shout out to Dr. Umar. Why not give black women the opportunity, Judge? Again, we point out all his flaws. We must point out when he cooking. And right now, he cooking. They are, they are not going to lynch. They are not going to generally lynch black women. They'll rape them. But they'll lynch the black men. If they would have did that. Judge Joe Brown says they won't lynch the black woman. They will rape her, but they won't lynch her. Hmm. This is the same thing. Uh, what's that guy name? It's not Nature Boy. It's the other guy. He said the same similar thing who made me make, make that video with black men is jealous of black women. 
uh what's his name y'all it's not nature boy it's the other one let me try to find it right now king noble right ain't that his name king noble i think that's his name king noble right let me let me see hold on he said the same exact thing watch this let me see uh king noble i think it's king noble right yes okay so it's king noble king noble once said the same thing uh you know black women they 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 they, they got it easy we got it hard they kill us more than they kill the black women they lynch us and all they lynch us but they, all they do is rape the black women it's funny how that's coming up again for my ears to hear that's inspired me to make that video on my first suicide channel that black men are envious and jealous of black men you're like woman this same type of rhetoric right here. Now, Judge Joe Brown said it, and we're going to listen to it again. They don't lynch them. They lynch us. All they do is rape them. Like, that's cool. Y'all got to pay attention to this, man. Let's run it back just a little bit. The man. If they would have the opportunity to stand and deliver, but they'll lynch the black man. If they would have caught Harry Tucker, they would have lynched the dollars. If they would have caught Harry Tucker, they would have lynched it. They go in and deal. My bad, y'all. They've got okay, every okay. Calvin Coolidge on the damn deal, deal, too. Douglas and King have been written about more than any other black I don't people care. in American it's history. Why not give and I remember, look, why look, not give I black can't. women their opportunity, Judge? I don't why care. Not you put a black man on there first because the thing of it is, I they are not going to lynch. They are not going to generally lynch black women. They'll rape them. But they lynch the black men. If they would have caught Harry and Tucker, they would have lynched the dollars. If they would have caught Harry and Tucker, they would have lynched it. They go in and deal if, with if, getting rid of the men. If they, they would have caught Harry and Tucker, they would have lynched the judge. Stand and deliver, sacrifice self, be the last in the damn lifeboat when the women and children get in there first. You put a black man yes. on the corner. I hope you're yeah. not. Okay. I hope you're not. I, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I hope you're not a male chauvinist, Judge. I hope you're not a male chauvinist. I am a male chauvinist. Radio, the, the DJ. He said, I hope you're not a male chauvinist. And he said, I am a male chauvinist. Now, before we get up out of here, let me just look up what chauvinist is. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know the freaking vibes. Salute to everybody in the freaking building. The suey, man. I know what time it is. Okay, male chauvinist is a male prejudice against women. The belief that men are superior in terms of ability, intelligence, but he don't like feminist. He has something to get feminist, but he's a male chauvinist. That's interesting. That's interesting. He's a male chauvinist. And he has something that gets feminist. <laughs> Hell no. That's hilarious. Let's read that again. A male, a male prejudice against women. The belief that men are superior in terms of ability, intelligence, etc. He believed that males are way more dominant than women in everything. Not just strength, intelligence, etc. He's a male chauvinist. He's a male chauvinist who hates feminists. His counterpart. I guess maybe a smidget counterpart. Let's look up feminist. Hey, quick. Okay, so we can understand what's going on. Let's look up feminist. Right? A person who supports feminism. Hold on. Let's look up that. Defining feminism. Why they have that image? Hold on, let me see. The theory of a political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Organiz organized activity or be behalf of women's rights and interest. Huh? So the women, they like, yo, males, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should be able to vote, like the vote thing. Females should be able to vote. Females should better do this. We should better do that. 
We could do this. We could do that. He like, nah, I'm a male chauvinist. You can't do nothing. None of this. It's a man's world, homie. What you talking about? Huh? Now it makes sense. Let's read that chauvinist again. I like this. Male chauvinist. Okay? Male prejudice against women in the belief that men are superior in terms of ability, intelligence, etc. That's what a male chauvinist is. A male think he's better than a woman at everything. And he said he is a male chauvinist. Hmm. Now let's look up the word prejudice before we get out of here. So we get all this shit together. Prejudice. Okay. The meaning. A preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. He's a prejudice against women since he's not a woman. Most of the things he cry about, he cannot really uh, pinpoint because he hasn't experienced it. Because most of the times when women complain, only a woman can complain about it. And a male can't really understand. We can, I mean, we can try to understand, but we can't really feel and understand in that way. What prejudice is. A preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. So a male chauvinist is prejudice against women. Huh? A preconceived opinion that's not based on reason or experience, what prejudice is. And, and believes that males are dominant and more superior in everything. <laughs> and that's what a male chauvinist is. Hmm? I'm here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below about uh, Dr. Umar and Judge Joe Brown. Go at it. You know, exchange dialogue with um, Harriet Tubman been on a $20 bill. I believe everybody should clap their hands for Dr. Umar for holding it down in this aspect. We do a lot of videos about the school and the PayPal and the Cash App and that and telling this, telling that. But, you know, we all, we all we have to balance it out and when he do something that's commendable we must report on that too so i'm glad i found this shout out to denise what's her name valerie denise something jones i think salute to you so salute to dr umar for holding it down when it came to harriet tubman in this situation for sure all right so like the video share the video leave your comments below um Subscribe to the channel. You can dislike. Uh, you can dislike uh, anything I'm saying 100%. Uh, just be respectful. If you disagree, whatever energy you give me, I will give you back. I am the balance keeper. Um, and uh, if you want to um donate to the channel, Cash App will be up this week. PayPal will be in the description box. And I uh, appreciate everybody who rock out with me. The new subs, um, the ones who, the, the uh, future subs, even the ones who've been rocking me for a while. Uh, salute to y'all. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Until next video. Sway.